Hello and welcome to another episode of Microsoft Talk Reloaded. In this video, we are going to discuss how can we use shortcut across capacities and what are the benefit of that. So let's just have the release note of an article which came some time back. We have not discussed when it came, but now let's quickly go through this article. So this article is use one leg shortcut to access data across capacities when the producing capacity is paused. Yes, even if the capacity is paused, we will be able to access and I'm going to demo you that today. Now, first, let's understand the shortcut definition. Shortcut in Microsoft One Lake allows you to unify your data across domain and clouds by creating a single virtual data lake for your entire enterprise. With shortcuts, data can be reused multiple times, making it simple, consolidated data without data movement, data duplication or changing the ownership of the data. So basically what happens, we create a shortcut, the data remain at the same place. We are just able to look into that data using the shortcut. So the data is actually not moved. It is residing on the same place, but we are able to use the data at another place. We can look at the data of ADLS Gen 2 using shortcuts, but within Microsoft Fabric also, we can look across workspaces and workspaces is a place where we can assign a capacity. So we will be able to look it across capacities also. So we will take up an example of that in some time. The consumption of data via shortcut is always counted against the consumer's capacity. So the data owner don't have to worry about the downstream uses throttling their own capacity. And this is really important that, you know, when we are consuming via shortcut, the consumer capacity is used, not the owner capacity. This is really important for having a pattern. What pattern are you going to draw? So think about your organization. Though one compute or one capacity is sufficient to run all the workloads on Microsoft Fabric, but that is not going to be practical for the organization which is having really large scale of data, which is coming with a lot of velocity. Now you might be having a capacity which is busy in just updating your data and you don't want that capacity to impact your Power BI reports because they're completely busy. There are many ETLs which are running, loading data across lake houses, warehouses or running SQL DB. Then you would like something to give relaxation to Power BI and make sure that it uses some other capacity. It's a practical uses that we need to have multiple capacities. So we are going to look how can we do that today using this feature which allows us to use different capacities on the same data. You can even pause this capacity where the data is stored without disrupting downstream customer shortcuts in data mesh and Mendelian architecture. Cross capacity shortcuts can appear in several architectural pattern. In data mesh pattern, data is managed and designed by domain experts versus a centralized IT team. Domain experts can then certify and promote items to the downstream consumption across the organization. With one leg shortcuts, the same copy of data can be used in multiple domains across workspaces tied to the same or different capacity. So workspace can be tied to same or different work capacity. Combining this with the ability associate the work workspaces with domain, Fabric make it easy to implement data mesh architecture. Now one leg consumption. Let's understand that before we move forward. One leg storage is built at pay as you go rate per GB like Azure storage or Amazon S3. For simplicity, one leg doesn't include a separate charge for transaction. Example, read and write. Instead, transaction consumes CUs from your existing capacity that is also used to run other fabric experiences when the capacity is paused, one leg storage will continue to be built. It means even if the capacity is not running, storage is separate. Put the data into it, it will be continue to build whether the capacity is running or not. One leg consumption via shortcut. That's the thing which we wanted to learn. Returning to our material architecture example, let's say capacity one contains a workspace with bronze data in the lake house. The data is loaded daily into the lake house and the transaction are transformed using Spark notebook. The request of the Spark makes one leg build cap to capacity one. Now let's say you want to pause the capacity one and build the reports of data built to separate capacity capacity 2. So reports on the capacity 2. To do this, you can create shortcuts in a lake house in workspace 2 tied to capacity 2. 
you can even create shortcuts after the capacity is paused using shortcut APIs. So if it is paused, then you need to use shortcut APIs. Now any request from Power BI reports or semantic model build of this data will be built on capacity too. So what is happening here is, this is my data. I created a shortcut here in the second workspace or this workspace is using capacity too. And so when I try to access the data in here in this workspace, you buy a shortcut or via the semantic model created on the shortcut, I'm actually consuming the capacity too. So now the time has come that we practically look into this example. To look into this example, I will jump onto the Microsoft Fabric and the experience which I'm using is the Power BI experience, which is nothing but app.powerbi.com. Now in app.powerbi.com, the first workspace which I'm going to open and showcase you is 0025 Learn Fabric. So let me click on the workspaces and go to 0025 Learn Fabric workspace. And inside this workspace, I have a lake 01. This lake 01 has its own table and it is also having shortcut of some tables from the warehouse in the same workspace. Now you can see customer date, geo, item, sales, the common tables which I have. Other than that, I have copies of these tables because of some experiment I was doing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the shortcuts of these things into another workspace. But before I do, let me go back and showcase you what capacity it is using. If I click on the workspace setting on the right top inside this workspace, you can see inside the license info that this is using trial capacity. Now let's go to the other workspace. The other workspace I wanted to go is shortcut. So workspace is 0001 shortcut. Now let's look at which capacity this one is working. So right hand side top workspace setting, license info. And as of now, this workspace is also working on the trial capacity. I have a paid capacity which I'm going to use on the 0025. But before that, I would like to, you know, establish everything and make sure that everything is running and then only I'm going to do that so that I can save running of my capacity. In this shortcut workspace, I already created a lake house shortcut. How to create a lake house? You can create it from new items. This lake house is right now empty. There is no table here. In the past, I do have done experiment and bought some tables. I have deleted those. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the ellipses icon three dots in front of tables and click on new shortcut. So I want to create table shortcuts. From where I want to create these shortcuts? From the one lake only. Means data which is lying in fabric. From which workspace we want this? We want it from 25. So 00025 learn fabric, lake 01 is some which I need. So let me select this and click on next button below. Now I will be able to see all the tables. Now this include the tables and the shortcut which is already there. So customer, date, geo, item and sales. These are my common tables which I am using since long. You might be aware if you are watching my channel for long. Again, I selected my tables, click on next. I don't want to rename these. If needed, you can rename that. By clicking on this edit icon, you can rename the shortcut name. So let me click on create. Now tables will be added as a shortcut in this workspace. Let me refresh the tables. And you can see most of the tables are already in like two tables are pending. We refresh it once. So all the tables are in. Now definitely I would like to check whether I got the data here or not. So let me click. This particular lake house doesn't have it, anything of its own. Whatever I am looking here is coming from 0025 lake 01. So let it load the preview of the data. So you can see the data here. It means the data is available. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to quickly create a new semantic model and create a Power BI report on that. So let me click on new semantic model options available inside the Lakehouse Explorer itself. So new semantic model, give it a name, shortcut lake. Ideally speaking, the shortcut lake should always be created in a different workspace like I'm creating. I want all the tables so I can simply click on select all or DBO to get that. I don't have views, but I have only tables. So I got my customer date, geo, item and sales. And then I need to click on confirm. So once I click on confirm, it will create my semantic model. And if there is no pop-up blocker, it should open a separate tab in which my semantic model should be open and I can create relationship and start using this semantic model in my report. So let's wait for it to create the semantic model. So my semantic model is created let me quickly join these tables and if you are with my channel, you know the common joins which I do. So let me bring these table a little in between and let's start joining. 
item id of the sales table is going to join with the item id of item table many to one single directional join so many to one single directional click on save button below so one relationship is created same way i'll create other one so now i need to join ct id of sales with the ct id of geography table again many to one single directional click on save same way customer id of sales with the customer id of customer many to one single directional save i usually prefer many to one because fabric uh, uis are not so great in identifying one to many that's why i always prefer that now what is the last join i want to create the sales state has to join with the date table on the date column sales state of sales table with the date of date table save you can also mark date table as date table and you can also you know correct your sort order columns if required as usual if you remember we create a month year sort column to correct our month year sort all those you can do but right now i am not interested in all those i just wanted to make sure that i have a model and i have a report because the main objective of this work across capacities so that's done now i just wanted to create a report now this option has been recently changed so you don't see a new report option here but you have the option under file create new report and you have the save version history version history etc also available so i go to file create new report it will open a report in the new tab so what i am going to do here is i am going to create a simple report item brand and sum of quantity fine so this is my usual number 49913 for sum of quantities so this is working perfectly fine i can save this report now where should you save the report now in this case i may be saving it to 0001 shortcut by my advice is save report always in a separate workspace that gives you a lot of flexibility even when you want to give the create report permission on your semantic model and you need to give a workspace if you put it in the separate workspace it is easy to give you the permission in that particular workspace for people to save the reports call it shortcut report this report is saved as of now the shortcut workspace is working on the trial capacity and the original workspace from where we created the shortcut is also working on trial capacity now what i am going to do is i am going to go to azure i have on demand capacity this is my fabric on demand capacity which i am going to switch it on in front of you i am switching on my on demand capacity so my on demand capacity is now getting started now my on demand capacity has already started as we can observe there is a pause option it means the capacity is running right now my on demand capacity is running and what i am going to do is i am going to go back to my workspace now once you switch capacity it may take little time first of all we have to refresh this workspace page so that the workspace setting started seeing the started capacity of microsoft fabric so now i go to the workspace setting license info edit and it is now able to see that i have a fabric capacity the moment i choose the fabric capacity it asks me which capacity i can have multiple capacities so i select that capacity i don't want to do any other changes i'll just say select license sometimes these changes can take little time to reflect especially if you go from a switched off capacity to a trial capacity or the running capacity it takes a little bit of time but right now our objective is just to have this capacity and later on pause it so why don't we go to the lake house explorer here and see is it working so we are here in the lake house explorer you can see that my customer table preview is loading or uh, let me do one thing let me go to the sql analytics endpoint i am on to the sql analytics endpoint i clicked on the right top and reached here here in my sql analytics endpoint let me run a query by clicking on the ellipsis new query select top 100 rows on customer so i got my data now let's go to the shortcut in shortcut workspace i also have this shortcut lake house where i have these tables here also let me go to the sql analytics endpoint using the right hand side top option sql analytics endpoint and let me query that so here i go to the tables here i don't have all the tables i have a little lesser customer ellipsis three dots select 100 rows so i'm getting the 100 rows here also these two workspaces are on different capacity and let me do one thing let me open more tabs for that just to showcase you once before i stop this capacity let me show you where these capacities are there if i go to the workspace 0001 shortcut and go to workspace setting and go to licenses you can see this is on the trial 
Now let's go to the other workspace. 00025 learn fabric. If I go to the workspace setting, license info, you can see this is on fabric capacity, the paid capacity, the on demand capacity. So now let's go ahead to the Azure portal and pause this capacity. So I am pausing my capacity. Are you sure you want to pause? Yes, I want to pause. Once I pause it and if I want to go to any other workspace and change it, I will not be able to use this capacity. But current workspace which is pointing to this will remain on that. So now let's go ahead and do one thing is, let's refresh this 0 to 85. Look at the workspace settings, license info, and it is still pointing to that fabric capacity. Now let me try to open lake 01. I am opening in the new window, I am not going to the older one. And you can see fail to load the lake house because capacity shut down. Now I already have little open windows. If you remember this lake 01 is open here. So why don't we query the table using this open window and the SQL analytics endpoint. See if we can run that. So let's run this and it is not able to fetch the data. So we are getting error. It means this is now pointing to the paid capacity, the capacity which is shut down. I am not able to query anything. Now let's go to our shortcut. A shortcut here 001 shortcut you have created the shortcut for this one this is on trial capacity this was the one which was on the trial capacity and let's see is it able to run the query so it is still able to see the data see this is all shortcuts and we are still able to see the data now let's go back to the lake house this is SQL analytics endpoint I am not able to differentiate whether it is shortcut or not and here you can see all of them are shortcuts but why we are doing this entire stuff? We are doing it to see the reports. So let's go to the report, the report which we have created, shortcut report one some time back and let's try to refresh it. I am still able to see the data. Let me go to the edit mode and try to add few more new items. Let me create category wise item quantity. So what's happening here? The place where the data is there, the capacity is shut down. But I have another lake where I've created the shortcut that capacity is running and in this case it is a trial capacity and on top of that I created a report and that report is also working and that is why I was always saying you know whenever you want to create the semantic model first create a lake of, of shortcut and where is the ideal place it should always be ready in another workspace and the final thing is I also recommend you to you know have your reports in a separate workspace is again going to provide you a few flexibility ideally speaking I might have three workspaces one workspace for data second workspace for this shortcut lake and the semantic model and third workspace for reports. Now this combination can reduce depending on what kind of requirement we have but having these three layers give you a lot of flexibility in terms of what kind of permissions you want to give, how you want to use it. So these are some of the patterns which Microsoft Fabric provides you and these patterns allow you to use the flexibility of using shortcuts giving added permissions on the reports etc so why don't you go ahead and explore that out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this particular video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you